Hey everyone, on December 10th, 2022, I attended Big Cubes in Bothell 2022, which is a comp that I helped organize, and there I broke the square one world record single by 0 0.05 seconds with a time of 4.28. Uh, so quite simply, it was totally unexpected, and in this video, I'm just going to share with you how I did it. Uh, I'm going to show my solution, and I'm going to go as pretty in-depth with kind of my thought process throughout the solve. Hopefully you learn a thing or two, and yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. The scramble's at the top of the screen if you'd like to follow along. So here we have six pair, and I can solve this by simply just doing one slice to scallop scallop. For this CSP, I traced odd, which means that I'm going to be solving the scallop scallop into the back. And so in this case, what I'll do is I know that when I have scallop scallop in the back, I like to do an up slice start when I solve it, which means that if this is one slice to scallop scallop, I would be doing a down slice first, and then I can go into scallop scallop. Uh, and so what I mean by that is just I'll start by doing a four negative two, and then do a slash to set up scallop scallop. I'll do a four on bottom, and now I'm ready to do scallop scallop with an up slice start, which is really good. So I do a slice. I can turn it into barrel barrel. Then I can turn it to kite kite like this and finish off the cube shape. From here, I saw that we had a kite on top and then I quickly glanced at the bottom and I saw that we actually have good kites, which is just a one slice OBL. And so pretty much all I have to do is just a five on bottom and then slice. Uh, I'm not really sure what the best way to finger trick it is, but what I ended up doing was just kind of like a D, D with my ring finger here, um, which did have a little bit of lockups unfortunately, but I did that and then I just sliced. Uh, and now we're left with PBL. So for PBL, this is KPJ. And so my solution for this was simply just uh, JJ into add drag. And so I started by doing a uh, D prime to bring all the headlights into the back. And from here, just from doing a bunch of solves and just getting really familiar with all the cases, uh, I know that after my JJ, my edge edges, my edges are going to be here and here which means that I'm going to have to do a U prime D2 after my JJ to set up for the edge edge. And so that's exactly what I did. So I did JJ, U prime D2. And from here, uh, I was able to predict my ABF. So I know that when I do edge edge plus an equator flip, um, this bottom layer is going to stay the same. So this green is going to stay where it is, which means I just have to do a D prime at the end to solve that. Uh, and because I'm doing an equator flip, this green is going to be a U2 away. And so it's going to go into the back which means I'd have to do a U prime to solve it. And so my final ABF would be U prime D prime. So from here, what I did was uh, I just did edge edge, this L here. So I just do a slash U, small U, M, U, and then U two prime, and then U prime D prime immediately. So overall, this was a 14 slice solution executed at 3.27 slices per second, which is about average. Uh, it is a little unfortunate that I fumbled a bit on the OBL execution, but nonetheless, I'm really happy with how I executed the rest of the solve, especially considering how, you know, after getting a one slice OBL, you'd imagine that I'd be pretty nervous going into PBL just because it has the potential to be a really good solve. But even despite all that, I was able to turn extremely well for the PBL with the, the JJ and the Adj Adj and, and get that world record single, which is something that I'm really proud of. Um, it is pretty funny that uh, you, you can pretty visibly discern like a, a little delay in my reaction because like after I stopped the timer, I had to like think for a second like wait is this is this a world record and when I realized it that's when I you know jumped up and clapped so I thought that was pretty funny. Anyways, I'm really happy to to finally hold both the single and average world records for square one. Um, and now you know when you go to my profile and go to square one, you can just see like an entire row of red ones, which. I think is really cool. Uh, it's also my first time holding two records simultaneously because up until now, every time that I've set a record, I had already lost uh, my previous one. Uh, so that's another cool thing. But at the end of the day, I don't really expect this record to, to last very long. After all, it is only a 0 0.05 second improvement from Elijah's 433 single, but that's okay. If it ends up getting broken in the next couple of months or in the next week or whatever, that's okay. But what stands out most to me about this record is uh, simply how, I guess, poetic this record is to me. Uh, some of you might have already seen me write about this, but pretty much this is my second time organizing a comp, and it's in the same venue. 
Uh, and the first time around, I achieved what I thought was my first world record. It was a 5.63 uh, square one average, which would, would have been world record at the time. But I eventually found out that three of the solves had been misscrambles. Uh, and so really, that was just like pretty much like the most devastating moment of my life at that point, because it was something that I'd been working really hard towards. And then just to kind of get it stripped away from me after all the happiness and celebration, that was that was tough, man. But here we are back in the same venue. And this time I got the record for real, uh, which I think is really cool. And that's that's the reason why you hear me like when my mom's out in the crowd asking me, Max, is that a world record? I was just like, yes, if it's not a misscramble, because I didn't want to get my hopes up just in case, you know, the worst of the worst happened. But yeah, it went my way and the scramblers did a very good job. So and and yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of my main takeaway from this record. I hope you found this video helpful, entertaining, all that stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.